Hey guys, so we are talking about FSD beta in Canada and uh, throughout the weekend we did get uh, the push out finally. That was so exciting. Honestly, I don't even have a script for it in this video. I typically always look down because I do have something written down, uh, notes or something of that sort. But for this video here, we're talking about FSD beta which has been around for a very long time. So there's not much to really talk about it. We finally just got our glimpse of it in Canada. Now the safety score has been pushed out to a select group of people. Now if you are an iOS user, go Go ahead into the app store update it to the latest version of the app and you will see a new section a new tab that says safety score now the unfortunate thing is it's not available to everyone just yet so if, even if you updated your app and your car is on the latest version you're not gonna see this available to everyone now of course you want to take out the fact that if you didn't purchase FSD for 10k you're not gonna even see this feature anywhere even if you are on the latest build but for those of you guys that uh, did buy FSD which is now 12k you're going to see See this feature available in your app now it's very unfortunate that my cars that did not get this update but if you guys launch up the app just like this you're gonna see at the bottom there is a software update and as you can see mine does end in a three if your ends in a four that means that you do have the FSD beta safety score pushed to your car and you guys can go ahead and start working in getting that 100 perfect score all right so if you guys aren't already aware on the Tesla website there is a safety score section showing you exactly how you get a dinged off for for your points if you do hard braking if you follow you tailgate and a bunch of other reasons as well if you don't get a safety score of roughly 100 or 99 you're probably not going to get it for a very long time uh, this is to keep the system uh, just in line with what Elon wants in terms of safety they don't want a crazy person just like myself to have FSD beta and uh, hit a tree and it'll be on TV and then they'll have to shut down the program altogether so of course Elon does not want that so this is why it's gonna be very limited uh, for for now now I know a lot of you guys watching this video probably is from the States you're not gonna be up in Canada and you're probably wondering why you don't even have it just yet um, I don't have an answer for that really you probably have to take it up with Elon but I think it's pretty fair that we waited for about a year now and finally we got our first site of the safety score we don't even have FSD beta running in our cars just yet I haven't heard of even one public version of the FSD beta just yet only the safety score so far so with that in mind you guys are already ahead of us so so don't worry too much there now let's talk about the FSD beta in itself what you guys should be expecting up in Canada if you do live up here I am in the greater Vancouver area I know it's available for Ontario and especially on the west coast which is where I am uh, this is where the majority of people driving Tesla are located I honestly feel that my city has the most Tesla drivers in the world in terms of just population ratio now if you guys live in Vancouver you probably know where Richmond is I feel like 10 out of 10 cars are Tesla's down there so that gives you guys a perspective of how big it is uh, and how popular it is here um, so hopefully we get a chance to try out this FSD beta that we've seen down south all right so all in all I think it's gonna be pretty much the same thing as down there in the States um, our roads are pretty much the same maybe they're a little bit smaller because we don't drive trucks too much up here but generally the rules are the same at least from what I'm seeing when I do drive down to Cali I drive down to Texas um, they look pretty much the same a lot of highways are there versus here but this is FSD beta in the city street so that shouldn't really make a difference from what I noticed rules are pretty much the same we do have a couple of little things here and there that Elon says that may be a little bit different but in terms of just overall layout and everything it's pretty much the same I can only think of one province and two cities within that province that drives a little bit weird and that has to be Calgary and Edmonton their street lights are horizontal instead of vertical like the rest of the world and things are a little bit wonky here and there from what I see and from how I feel when I drive from here to there versus from driving here to Cali it's a totally different world so for those of you guys that live there um, I'm sure you guys will experience some other weird things going on with FSD beta it getting confused with the lights and uh, whatnot but overall I think if you guys do have FSD beta down from the south and you come up north I think it's gonna drive pretty well so that should be what we are expecting here especially with version 11 on the horizon that's probably gonna make it so much better and just the overall experience is gonna be a lot smoother so other than those few little changes FSD beta is ready for Canada it is available in your cars right now pretty much every single car on the street right now is ready for FSD beta it's just they're not activated yet so at least know that your car will be updated eventually if you can fork out that $12,000 honestly 
honestly that's a little bit insane but we did talk about that in another video if you guys want to check that out I will drop it in the comments or the description below and it will be there you guys can click onto that and we'll have a discussion but uh, this should wrap it up for this video I am super excited I'm gonna be updating my car even if it doesn't give me the option for the safety score it just means at least I'm a little bit closer to that build but yeah this should wrap it up for this one hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did please please hit that subscribe button right up top there bell notification if you guys haven't already done so and this is John once again peace out